prepared for those aspirants, scholarship aspirants who want to apply for uh, higher studies in different scholarships, especially in China, in Korean side or uh, wherever in the world. Uh, I have go through uh, an international interview for the scholarship and uh, so that's why I'm going to express my own experience with you people that uh, what type of the questions are expected in the interview and uh, how you have to deal uh, with the, those questions. Okay, uh, when you receive a positive email from your professor, then he may ask you for the interview. So you need to have a valid and uh, updated uh, Skype ID, WhatsApp ID or WeChat ID in case of China. Okay, that uh, ID will help you to interact with the professor in easy way. Uh, the interview can be started with your in short introduction and uh, it depends upon the professor that uh, how he has studied your uh, uh, profile or how he has go through your profile. He may start the interview uh, from your introduction and uh, from your educational or uh, your research background that specially focused for the uh, professor. Okay, research background is very important and uh, the professor may be interested in your research background so that's why he has the, given you the positive response. So try to identify that what are your strong points in your uh, research especially in your master's research or graduation research projects which you have done in your past. So you have to be uh, uh, clear about your research uh, can, uh, mm, strong points which you may convey your message to the professor that you are bold in this this this, this research uh, as um, my interview was started with uh, my research uh, uh, background that the professor started uh, from my research background as the professor and I have already interacted with each other so that's why uh, the, uh, uh, the professor feel that there is no need for the basic introduction of the candidate so that's why the professor started my interview with uh, my research background and I uh, have uh, clearly described that how uh, the research I have done and what was the duration of my research and uh, what type of results I have obtained uh, what type of the research was uh, actually, actually I have done my research in chemistry so that uh, I will give you some examples from the chemistry uh, okay and uh, the next question was about uh, the if you are switching your field then uh, you have to uh, cre uh, create some genuine or logical uh, reasons that why you are switching your uh, research field or why you are switching some different area which you add uh, which is something different from your background uh, so uh, that's also important though you, you have to develop some logical answers to question these uh, answers to question these uh, questions and uh, the next third thing that is important about your research publication and if you have some research publication what's your uh, uh, authorship at that uh, publication and what is your contribution in, in that publication and what type of impact factor of the journal where it is published and uh, how many research, uh, authors are there and uh, uh, what uh, are their contribution and what's your contribution that's very important you have to completely describe and completely convey your uh, message to the professor in clear and uh, in easy way and the language is very important that you have to use your normal tone normal language you have to listen carefully that uh, you will answer the professor in appropriate way and you have to uh, sometime give the reasons that why you should select that uh, type of research and uh, you have to uh, explain uh, different ideas which you have uh, identified in the, uh, your research. Uh, so uh, that's very important and after research background then the professor may come to your academics and especially if you are applying for uh, another field and uh, we have uh, some subject in your background and uh, what type of the marks you have the G GPA or what type of the percentage you have obtained in that subject that's very important uh, the professor may ask about some uh, academic background and academic uh, percentage or the grade, grade CTC so you have to uh, uh, go through before interview or you have to put all the documents uh, on the desktop before starting interview with uh, the professor then uh, you have to uh, easily answer the ask question 
uh, at the uh, on the spot so uh, and after this uh, the professor may ask some questions about your personal life uh, and your social life uh, if you are married or not married and uh, you have to uh, truthfully say what uh, is your social background and what's your financial background and the professor may ask about your job uh, and activities which you have already uh, in your country and the professor may ask some questions about uh, your the professor may ask about uh, your activities like job and how you will manage the job and how you will manage the family uh, these are very important and why you are selecting this university that's very important that why you are applying for this specific university and specific program you have to develop some answers of these questions uh, that you can answer the professor on the spot and uh, mm, uh, sometimes you may have to answer some uh, questions about the country that why you are selecting this special this country for uh, this, that uh, program so you have to develop some answers like uh, the population uh, of your country students present in that university or your department and you have to go through some uh, ranking of that university as well and uh, the ranking of both universities your university and the host university where you are applying that's very important why you are inspired from that university and what's the uh, okay, uh, we can say that uh, what's the ranking of your own university in your own country and national level and international level so you these are very important things that you have to go through before starting an interview for a scholarship and uh, an interview is nearly it is uh, 50 to uh, 70 percent post you uh, if uh, the professor gives you a post response and uh, he uh, give you a response for the interview then it is uh, nearly 50 to 60 or 70 percent uh, post you about your selection but it depends upon you that you have to raise this level to 100 percent that the professor must choose you so uh, the in prepared for those prepared for those aspirant scholarship aspirants who want to apply for uh, higher studies in prepare for 